Watch started in 1993 as a result of a lawsuit against some polluters up north of uh, the end, north end of the lake. And the money from the settlement was used to, to secure the equipment to do lake sampling for water quality. This went on with a group of volunteers until about 1999 or uh, 2001 thereabouts. And because of the just the age and uh, experience of the volunteers, they they uh, it tapered off. We restarted it again uh, in 2007 as, as more people became concerned about it, and uh, we didn't want to see the effort stop. The current effort is. Uh, Twofold, we've got 20 sampling sites from one end of the lake to the other. We use two boats, the small water watch boat, to do the headwaters in eight streams, and a volunteer second boat to do embayments and main channel samplings, which is done once a month. And we sample five different water quality parameters that uh, are charted month to month so we can uh, find any pending problems with the water. What we hope to accomplish is to maintain the improvements that we have seen in the water quality of the lake so that it ensures future use of the lake for, for water, for recreation, fishing, swimming, uh, and just people's general enjoyment. Water Watch is a group of volunteers. Uh, I have a, currently about 22 people, 12 boats that volunteer to go out every month. And Water Watch has a contract with the University of South Carolina for data acquisition, reduction, and analysis that they bring back to us. But the main effort is all volunteer. Bacterial sampling has been done on a, uh, I guess you'd call it an informal effort because uh, we, we, are, we asked the university to do some bacterial sampling for us at the sampling points we normally use every month. And to date we have seen uh, no adverse reactions or uh, readings within those parameters. But we're always on the watch for it. Well, we don't want to let up on the monitoring that goes on monthly because uh, it's a good first alert effort. But we would like to see it expand to some more in-depth studies of parts of the lake so that we can better understand the nutrient loads in the lake and, and how they might affect us in the future.